we're gonna create a pie chart animation in the style of Vox and Johnny Harris. This style has become very popular because it combines simple shapes with clean storytelling, making information easy to digest and visually engaging. It's perfect for documentary style videos, explainers, or any project where you want data to feel more human and cinematic. By the end, you'll have a fully animated pie chart that looks polished and professional. Don't forget, you can download the project file and a full pack of ready-to-use infographic animations with universal controls from my Gumroad. The link is in the description. First, let's set up the foundation of our project. Create a new composition I'm using, full HD, but you can use any resolution that fits your workflow. Next, create a new solid and apply the grid effect. Adjust the settings to your taste. I'm using a black grid with a thickness of two pixels and I've set it to square mode so the proportions feel clean and geometric. To make the grid less perfect and more in line with the Vox aesthetic, we'll apply roughen edges. This breaks up the lines and adds a slightly organic texture that feels less digital. Now we're ready to create the actual chart. Using the ellipse tool or rectangle tool, draw a circle shape with no fill and a wide stroke. We'll animate this circle using trim paths. Set the end property from 0% to 100%, so the stroke grows into a full circle. This is the base of our pie chart. The great part is that once you set up this animation, it's very easy to duplicate and adjust it for multiple slices. To build the slices, duplicate the ellipse you just made and change the end percentage. For example, one slice could end at 33%, the next at 66%, and the final one at 100%. Each slice should have a different color, so the divisions are clear and visually appealing. In my example, I'm using three slices, but you can make as many as you want 10 slices if needed. This technique scales really well and still looks neat. Now let's add context. Create a large title above the chart and below it add a smaller subtitle that explains where your data comes from. I like to use Times New Roman for a classic documentary feel, but you can experiment with fonts. I also make the subtitle gray so it doesn't distract too much but still feels professional. Aligning the text to the left gives it that clean Vox layout we all know from their videos. To clearly mark each slice, we'll add pointer lines. Use the pen tool to draw a line extending outward from each color slice. Animate these lines using trim paths so they smoothly draw on screen. Duplicate the line two more times so every section has one. Finally, add text labels for each sector. In my example, I've labeled them A, B, and C. But you can add any titles or numbers that match your data. To avoid a sterile look, we'll once again use roughened edges on some elements. 
This makes the lines, shapes, and text look slightly imperfect, which fits the Vox style much better. Instead of being overly precise, the chart now feels handcrafted, almost like it was drawn with intention, not generated by a computer. This little touch really changes the personality of the animation. Now let's add a subtle texture to tie everything together. Start with fractal noise and increase the contrast. Remove the white color using color key so only dark areas remain. Then apply CC ball action to break the pattern into small dots. Make the dots the same color as your background so they sit naturally behind the chart and text. The result is a dotted paper-like texture that adds depth without overwhelming the design. Plain text can feel lifeless, so let's animate it with a free tool. I'm using the Mr. Horse plugin, which offers clean and professional text animations with just a few clicks. This makes your titles and labels appear in a polished way, instantly raising the quality of the project without spending extra time on keyframes. To wrap things up, we'll apply two finishing effects that are essential for this style. Add noise for a grainy cinematic feel and posterize time to lower the frame rate. I usually set it around 12 frames per second. This creates that slightly choppy vintage style we associate with Vox and Johnny Harris's videos. The combination of noise and posterization makes the animation feel more tactile and authentic. And that's it, we've built a complete animated pie chart in the Vox documentary style. This method is simple enough for beginners, but flexible enough to 